for giving us the grace to come together for this program as we give cancer to your people through your word we ask that your spirit will lead us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Father we ask for your wisdom we ask for your Holy Spirit once again to permit and to take absolute control of all our programs all our discussion that you open our eyes to see and to understand what you want us to know. Thank you, Father, for our strength and our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated. I want to call on Paul Baba Egitioke. Mama Egitioke. The youth chaplain and all the executives of the youth in our diocese for giving us the grace and the privilege to stand before you. And uh, according to the program, we have passing in one hour, but it seems it's going to be a minute's time. Oh, so what we want to do, I mean, there's a process, there's something God wants us to do. Uh, we want God want us to know and God will speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to go first of all in my wild grace and to speak to us on the issue of marriage. Thank you, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I think this session is supposed to be an interactive session. So please, I want us to quickly sing this song. I can see everything. What is that? 
renew our mind. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to renew our mind. Please let us open our Bible to the book of Romans chapter 12. I want to use just a verse there. Then I will drop the mic before the question session. Romans chapter 12. Let's go to verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Again. For as we have many members in one body, and all Amen. members have not the same office. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Salutary Yoruba Bible. So we come to have a few words. Nitori, Egabi, Awati, Di, Ayakupo, Ninu Arako, Ti, Obo, Ayakosi, Ni, Michel, Kono. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are talking about our body. And this our body have members. Where we have our head, we have our eyes, we have our nose, we have our mouth, hands, and so on and so forth. Now when we go to, when we're talking about renew your mind, that is, what is God saying about your marital life? Those of us that have married, the Lord wants us to renew our minds. What we have known before, the Lord wants us to do was to renew our mind. According to that verse 4, it was talking about members of your body. Where we have eyes. Where we have eyes. And I want to say this. My brothers and my sister, you need your spiritual eyes. You need what? Spiritual eyes in order to renew your mind maritally. Because when we are saying renew your mind, we are talking about, at least we are talking about godly aspect of which you are children of God. You need to smell if there is danger ahead. 
your first approach. And he will lead and direct you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Because of our time, I want to stop from that place. I let my husband and my darling let him continue from that place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who are married, let me see your hand. You are married. One. Okay. Two. Only two. Okay. Engaged. And I know who I am I'm going to get married with now. Let me see your hand. I'm engaged with the British. Oh, it's a brother. To my, let me see your hand. I'm engaged with somebody to marry. Let me see your hand. I have my, I know who I'm going to marry now. Let me see your hand. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. It seems people don't, maybe you are. Yeah, shine, shine. Eh? Oh, you are doing it under the. Eh? Baby, I show them shit. Oh, they buy them shit underneath. Baby, I show them shit. I need a move away, Danny. We want to do it to another one. So, therefore, if you are in a true relationship and you know you are satisfied, this relationship will end up with marriage. Let me see your hand. You are sure? One. Ah. Please, be bold. Let me know. God bless you. Is there any other person here? Two? Uh -huh. God bless you. Now, guys, listen. For asking this question, because it will help us in our discussion, I can see in our discussion here that the majority of the youth who are here are about or thinking or praying or seeing the future when one day I'm going to get married, I'm going to know, I'm going to know who I will get married to. And that is the foundation of marriage, knowing the will of God in marriage. Praise the Lord, knowing the will of God in marriage. When we were going up, when we were doing our own, the situation is getting different from then to what we have now. Then the process is that you go to fellowship, when you are in the fellowship, you pray, you begin to pray, and so we have revelation. I mean, we have revelation. So they will dream. And eh? say, ah, ah, as I sleep, I slept. I saw that sister. I was drawing that uh, raised another way. And she just came. Sister, ah, uh, she came. And help me in drawing. Ah, it means that I'm going to get married to this sister. But gradually, gradually, people are moving from, you know, praying, are moving from. Depending on the word of God, depending on the scriptures, depending on the teaching of the word of God, gradually shifting to area of say, let me date. And that is the area of dating comes in. And looking at it, praise the Lord, what is dating? And what is dating? Because, hello, hello. Everybody, ah, what money? What money? Kilo ya ante chine. Guys, they talk up within two months. So don't you check it? Don't you check it? And this guy, eh? What is actually the meaning of dating? And they talk about primary school on date. Emma will be there. Why is it? What? What? What do we need to understand by dating? And we see from here dating. Social activities where two people explore mutual interests. Two people in one is a social activities. Two people explore mutual interests, spending time together, get to 
know each other better. Romantic contest in romantic uh, content. It almost involves various activities such as uh, conversation. I want to add it. They will meet, they will have conversation, they will share experiences to foster a deeper connection. Then, dating involves various activities that help individuals get to know each other better. So, normal activities include going out for dinner. Do you understand? When you are this sister like you. Eh? Please, can we have a date? Hello, that yeah. date, if you do it, a dating can be a program like this. I heard that's going to be a program. Sister, please, can we have a date? We have to win it. Some people will meet in Christian country like this. When they have time for reflection, they will sit down. What do you see from what? The minister have said, what is your understanding about it? Then, the time of dating the people according to our definition is a social uh, interaction between two people to explore, the, to know better about each other and to know whether they will go further to get married. So, it's a lot conversation. But for Christians, as well as the children of God, we should know that our dignity has to be that certain things fundamental principle we should follow in our dating. If that is what we want to, that is how we want to start our relationship, how we will, I mean, to choose the person we want to marry. Dating is let me connect with this person. I relate with her. After success, I know whether we can continue. If I cannot continue, I move to another person and date her. Eh? If I discover that she's not the person, I move to another person, I date her. But in the process of doing that, with the context of what is happening now, many of our Jews have been, you know, what they need to know about dating, they got involved in what mar married people do during dating. And when they now feel that I cannot continue, the other person is shit up. Because during the time of dating, they may have a sexual intercourse. And the brother, the, if the brother says, ah, I cannot continue with this sister, I say, ah, ah. But during our own time, you know, it's a, it's a time you carefully pray and have a, a kind of a spiritual conviction that the Lord is leading you to this person, having the proof through the word of God. And to what God is speaking to you as Christian. And when you approach that person, then, and she also will go and pray. After praying, she will come and give you, I have prayed, and God has spoken to me that we can start our courtship. That is courtship. Courtship is a process, is a time that two Persons, spouse, I mean two individuals, a boy and a girl, or a man and a woman, I have intention, they have this intention to go into marriage. It's a time to know each other better and plan for their future marriage. To know whether they are compatible. Or compatible. So that is a period of a caution. But this Nowadays, the issue of dating is coming up. People, the reason why, uh, let us think, let us think, let us think, is that Christians are not ready again to pray to see God's direction in marriage. And I want to encourage you, it is very good, to pray and see God's direction in marriage. God, what are you telling me? 
God can speak to you. God can lead you to that right woman. God can lead to you, talk, talk to you concerning that man. He wants you to marry. And when God leads you, you follow. Well, you can take the process of dating, but be careful. When you take the process of having courtship, I mean, you try to see the face of God and ask, you know, you propose the time of making a public sure that God has spoken to you about something. You make a proposal to that uh, sister. Most of all, today, we talk about social media. People even say, sister, I propose to. Eh? But I. They say, but that's why you have to be careful or whatsoever teaching or whatsoever thing you hear or not. You see or you watch social media. media. Well, if you are there, but most of it is not always uh, right for a woman to propose to a brother. <laughs> the way God has made it most of all is that a brother will be proposed to even when you know pray that God should touch him to come and is mind. Praise the Lord. And another thing that people ask when they come to choosing, when do I have to start thinking about marriage? How long? What is the age? Then I want you to know that the Bible has not prescribed any age. But the most important thing be a mature person. And because age is not maturity, we can have 40 years old or 30 years old man that is not mature at all. And we can have 28 years old lady that is more mature than 25 years old lady. So that was the age. But people also talk about when you talk of age, that is it good for a man or for a woman to marry somebody that is older or younger than her? You know, is it a big one? Simply say, age is not love. You understand? If you love, if you discover that and you are able to know that you can give respect to the man, you can honor him as the Bible has directed that you should honor and give, give honor to your husband. Even when he is younger, to you engage and you feel that you love each other. Huh? But I pass. I advise personally is that even if you want to do that, don't let the age degree be too much. A year or two, you can accept God. If, praise the Lord, if the husband, I mean the wife is older than the husband with five years, or uh, then I won't uh, encourage you to go into that uh, relationship. So, apart from that, looking at age, I also want you to look at the issue of the same faith because of time. I can't go through all those uh, water. Your okay, then you look at your you have to be of the same faith. It is very, very good. It is not good that a Christian before you know eh? Praise the Lord. And I remember from Sunday school, from children's section, to why Sorry. So the Bible says we should not be on equal ground with on the main path. So that 
So all those things you need to put in mind. Please, I want you to just go to caution. Please, you can copy all this from the media if you want to have it. Go to the issue of the uh, when the dating. I mean, let's look at dating. Some things you need to put no uh, in mind. No, go back, go down, down, down. Then, be of the same page with that person, move down, move down. Then, there should must be a time, okay, before this, move up a little bit, and the Lord will help us. I want us to look at it in this way that uh, what we need to have in mind is very good. We must share the same page. Then look at character and virtue. Look at character and virtue. That is number two. Look for quality for qualities such as kindness, patience, honesty, and humanity. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30. I like the value of the person's character. And they told me, you pay over to the king, who did you have to go to the and now it's a get out. You know, you have to go to the king. Eh? Who go to the king? Who go to the king? Who go to the king? Eh? Who go to the king? Eh? Who go to the king? Eh? You know, you have to go to the king. To the king. Who go to the king? You know, what? But when we plant in Asheri, it will be dirty. So, a woman should not be dirty, be hardworking, not be lazy. So, be of a good character. That will go to Kenya. Church in Kenya. Because you know, if you are part of this world, we still do, eh? You cannot just marry my husband alone. You have relatives and people that are too willing to look at you. Do you have this? Do you have a good character? Some people don't have respect. So, as a man, as a woman, have a good respect. Then they tell me what kind of home do you want? What kind of home do you want? Some people want Christian's home, but they don't want to be Christian. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you want to be, do you want a Christian home, but you are not ready to be a child of God, a Christian. You want a good man, a faithful man, but you don't want to be a woman of virtue. So, if a good man comes to you, before you know, you will discover that you are not the right material. Because you don't have the virtue that will sustain a good man to stay with you. The man will just go after some times and know that this person is not meant for me. Advice I give to sisters like this or brother, write the qualities of the man you want and begin to place it before your mirror and begin to ask God, Lord, I want this type of a man in my life. Eh? Also, that is number one prayer. Number two is that, oh God, Life eh, to conform with the life of a woman that this kind of a woman of a man will like. Do you understand that prayer? Eh? Is that Oluwa shemini wo pinti wo oriyo shekini till the fair get the be ayam. Oluwa, this is the kind of a man that I want. Then the second prayer is that Lord. Fit for this man, this kind of a man, so that when this man comes, he will still be as a righteous woman to get married with. So, uh, because of time, this you can come from the media uh, what we have there, but we also want to give people, we want to give people opportunity to ask questions, to ask questions, so that we will not just be talking, 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 and talking. Because of our time. Question. 
Okay, if you have a question, please just open it. Yes, well, write your questions. I think the way write it and we get to it. Okay, no. If you have a question, please write it. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Oh Lord, you marry. I love you. 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 It is much advisable to put in operation that we Not that it is more. He said it is much advisable to go into friendship than dating. So I want to ask, what is the difference between friendship and dating? Praise the Lord. I said, in choosing, you need to ask God. And that was what my wife said. Let your eyes be open. You meet with a lot of sisters in fellowship who can pray and the group we want to come down. But among these numerous sisters, though, meet me, direct me, who do you have for me? And there's many things that will help you to really, one, God speaks to you. If you are a child of God, you hear the voice of God. You know the way God speaks to you. And when you pray, after pray, God will be leading you to one person at a time. The other side. When God sees that you are of age, because at times you can pray and you may not even get the answer for them. Eh? And I ask people that the journey you cannot end within three years. The journey of worship or dating. Passing of, of prayer. Only you will start it. The other side. So that if you are going to eat, then set the target for within the next three years. If you are not ready to marry within the next three years, please go. You can see let it cool. The other side. And focus on other things that will make the marriage more quickly. So, when the time is coming and God knows that it's striking for you, He will speak to you, will lead you to His sister, that you see with your prayer that during that you make your proposal to God. But I said, now, nah, then, that was the system before that you recall, you see, knowing the will of God, making your proposal and starting your caution. But the process now, that most youth go for is dating. And I lost this sister. I see her. Ah, I see her. She's beautiful. She's sister. Please, can we go on a date? The other side. And she will say, okay, where do we meet? You will either meet in a restaurant, you go to a amusement park, you go to different places, concerts together, cinema houses to talk, eh? to know much about her, to know whether you are compatible, whether she's good for your, for you as marriage. That is the process that most brothers and sisters or people go for now, which is why the way from the one we used to go, used to do there, the other side. And because people, Christians, don't want to wait actually pray to receive for God to direct them. That's why they began to date. You date this one to me today. You date another one tomorrow. You date to your other son. I said, for you as Christians, why can't you go back to your God and you and call upon him? Lord, be me to me. Make proposal to that sister. She will also go and pray. If she's convinced, then you start your worship. And before you go, and the question, somebody, an elderly person, or somebody who has experience will be able to guide you through how the things you need to discuss during your 
wash away in preparation for marriage. Do you understand? That one is more religious and uh, way of uh, proposing or getting who you will marry. The other one, which is dating, is more of a social way of uh, getting somebody to marry. And actually, many people recommend that the first one will to come. And the reason why the believers most often pray on that we will appreciate that one is that it allows them to do whatsoever they do. They say they want to go ask. Uh, but we want to know about that. We want to know our values. We want people to know our sexual things. That's why if you are the office, uh, social media, something will tell you. Uh, I said, you need to communicate because you get money to know whether that man can perform very well. Or that woman can perform very well. So that it will not cause a problem to you in marriage. But that is not the Christian way of doing it. Do you understand? God, I mean, if you are Christian, you should follow the Christian way of doing it, not probably the way the other way. But if you now feel that you want to even use dating method, do you understand? It's a matter that the dating network will be a, a, a very pure atmosphere. Not that you want to know your spouse better and you begin to engage in what is called sin or premarital sex. The Lord will help us. Praise the Lord. I just want to add to what Daddy has just said. The question is fresh. Is it different from it? It's different. Different from the image. Ordinary fresh. When you work together, you share your minds together. But when you are talking about dating, that means you have another thing. Do you understand? The person you want to marry, your future partner. That means you are not. Though, so, this time around, there are some friendship that leads to, that leads to dating and marriage. But in that aspect, you have to be very careful. If you started with friendship, Situation. Do you understand? When you go to a point, you need to ask God whether you should go for that. Whether he is the woman or the man for you in marriage. This issue of friendship, once you repay, they are in a relationship. I want to answer for possibility. They are in relationship already. So you have to define it. And you have to be very careful in the aspect of this friendship matter. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So we have some friendship situation that needs to manage. But you have to decide. And you have to go to God first. Lord, is this the woman you have for me? Is this the man you have for me? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, question before we move to question two, in that, let me say this. What is referring to the sister? You are laying an empire upon yourself. That's the one that's supposed to come and propose to you will not come. And even you yourself, that one that eventually may refuse to open up to you. So, don't think in the Christian. We, that's just it. So, question two, because of our time. Miss uh, Edgar, uh, the issue of praying, because of people who say, oh, you pray to God, you are just saying, talk to God, talk to God. What? When you talk to God about that journey, eh? 
there are certain people that will knock themselves out. I just want to make a, a kind of uh, when I was praying for the will of God for my mind, for my marriage, I know somebody that as I was praying, my mind was saying, This sister is good now. Eh? This sister is good now. And I started moving closer to her. Ah. But I never told her that this sister I want to marry you. But I kept on praying. Eh? We were in the same church. And we talked. I know that by the grace of God, I will be a minister of God. And I know that I cannot marry a woman that will not be able to listen to me as a minister of God. And in that church there, I was a pastor in that church. It's not an Anglican church. So, she just said, Pastor Moshe, you can never fellowship, you never Hello. And the process of going after the year of Yakoda, or a two, don't be two, a year, two, a two, come on, big man, or a double, and they come. And only put that, take the name, you know, sister, please. How much is it? Forget about that, and let those go.
I know um, fear from them. When they talk about their doctrine, it is very hard to combat them. They would rather combat you and take or maybe you want to combat. It is very, very, very weird. So you can't combat them. Oh, Quantine, a young man, be a lawyer. So, to me, it is actually wrong. To bring, no, to get married to a Christian, to a Muslim, it is wrong. Because we are not the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that can convert a man, that can change a man, or that can convert a man or a woman. It is wrong. To say that okay, I'm getting married to this person because I want to convert him or her, or I want to move close to this person. We can pray for them because, but we should make sure that they are born again. They are already in the Christian family. Paul, we can say we want to get married to them, but saying we want to get married to a Muslim brother or sister. Daddy, yes, sir. Sir. Okay. Um, Let's do it this way. No, not question. No. Let's come yes, to the yes, sir. Okay, that's it. Three, one, two, three. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. So please, it is not, it is 
completely wrong for a Christian brother or Christian sister to marry you today. It is wrong. Sorry, Baba. I have said it's not wrong. Mami.
a of the woman or a product, not the, the, the product in quotes is more deeper at times. The brothers can fake it, but most often the sisters don't fake it. The brother can fake it to be a brother fellowship, but they are not yet born again. They have that testimony and everything hanged somewhere just to clap, show you. And the minute they are not married, they say they go and pick their testimony and they say, Oh, I'm a Muslim and I give up. That one is quite different. But the most important thing I want to tell you, the Bible says, Go be all, live one go with all believers. And that you can see in Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. That is the one one. That is the word of God for you. And that is the reason I asked you the other time. What is your vision for your own? If you want to have a good, a Christian home, you have to follow what we are telling you. If you want to have a rich home, not a Christian home, you may follow any other part. Because a Muslim who wants to get a baby and who is rich can do whatsoever she wants to do, he wants to do for that lady. Just to get her. And immediately he gets you and eh? you are in need of it. You cannot run the thing. That is the reason you need to identify the kind, the vision you have for your own. And the value, let me tell you, the reason why we ask you, the Bible says, don't be on the point to is that number one, your value, the value, the values of Christians are very different from Muslims. Christians says one man, I mean, one man, one man. Christian, I mean, Muslim says, eh, one man, many one. If you have that vision that you are ready to live with a woman eh, with many wives, you, you can free and say, Let me go. And my converter, you are not a converter. Please. And when the motions involved, let me tell you, there's little or nothing you can do. So that's why the values different, the faith different. Eh? Faith. What you believe as a Christian is quite different from what a Muslim believe. Then, how will you have peace in your home? When things different, when values different, then you know that you are not going for a peaceful home. So it is not there for you to choose the kind of marriage you want. Whether a peaceful marriage or a marriage that is not I don't want to take the time. Well, I want to tell you this story. It's a true life story. Hmm. It happens in a battle, some good area. Then, I'm not married. That this sister. You got married to me. A brother in the church. But that brother happens to be a Muslim. But to that sister, she's a Muslim brother. But this brother pretended to be a Christian. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus. What am I saying is this is why you need your spiritual eyes to see ahead. Sherry, what do you to me to be This sister, Mama Sophia and Ramona, and so people who are devoted. Shama, the Bible says, pray and watch. I mean, watch and pray. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Sherry, this issue of marital, this, this marital issue, please, it's very people and I really want us to really pray. I want you to read that, Madura. Now that I plan, we go on my 
girl is six times. What they want to fellowship that die. Oh, my son, church, that they are the way. They want the pastor, but I believe in faith. is a born again Christian. What they share, marriage, if you want Christian marriage, but tell me, you after three months, what your pastor church that they are. After three months, the brother I work with, sister I pay, sister, what's your name? Probably again, who pay daddy? Oh, that's a beer. Who pay daddy? Who was a fool? Who was a fool? Who's a little bit of more? What are we going to do? We're going to do five I'm telling you, or I think also I speak to the sister here to relate. Oh, go up, oh, go eventually. Yes, oh, oh, so cool, go there. Because we expect it. So the end of it, it ends up in destruction. Please don't make that costly mistake. Please, God, I make it on our one. I was our decision. No buy it. Tell me what you play again. Oh, my sister, play again. Yes. Yeah. Let me do this. Okay. I don't know. Oh, my friend, yeah. Oh, my sister, yeah. Want to play again? But I'm telling you, this is a true life story. That time, I yeah, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, because I tell my guess is different because I am born again. What's your best in your car? But I'm telling you, please don't make that costly mistake. What you read? A pastor, I'm telling you, because Sherry, if you want to go far in your academics, in your life, in your ministry, whatsoever, surely the issue of this marriage, although the devil will go far, and that is the reason why you need to pray very well. You need to pray if you want to go far in life. If you want to go far in life, you have to. Pray very well and take this issue very serious. I want you to take it very well. I want you to pray very well because it will determine how far you will go in life. Don't make that costly mistake at all. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So, what shall I put in? What did I put in? What brother he is for anything more money? He's an assistant pastor. He might have a church here. When God will reveal that sister, eh? Lord, okay, see me by woman being. He be by sister. Papa question. He's an animal. Anything more than else for him, this man will pray. Hey, he's like a boss to me when I was working in the valley. Don't you remember me?
of Genesis. Okay. The first man issued life form. Mm -hmm. Came in after everything went from Okay. Now then, he can only possibly prefer someone that will match your purpose for your life. Uh -huh. And now the Bible said, ask shall be given. Seek shall be given. Fine. I need more yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think uh, when we go to ministers of God, revelations, like I said the other time, when you pray, God can guide you on who to marry. You have the right to accept, to choose, or not. Do you understand? I remember before I got married, Three years to that time, I never knew that I would travel to Ibadan for anything. But God has revealed to me that I will marry from Ibadan. And the wife that I will marry is she's a secretary. Those two things I knew. Three Yes, before I even knew her. And it was a prayer God told me, God gave it to me, and we touch it down. So it was even three months to the wedding that I discovered that God has spoken and forgotten. But God guided me through the word of God. He used everything around me. Guided me. Even when he opened my eyes, I saw her. I see an option to say, I don't want her. There are others that are beautiful than I. You understand? So God will still guide you when you pray. But it's the one, you are the one that we choose, you will pray. So when you say, God will reveal to you, God will tell you, or whatsoever, his guidance. The Holy Spirit will guide you how the kind of things, like I told you, the one I was thinking, I'm going to immediately. I'm going to I'm going to i i i knew that i would be a minister for God to let me know, you pay mama, if it don't worry, you are not shaking in the thing. Because as a minister of God, you cannot marry somebody you cannot talk to and listen to you. So immediately I say, I read what? I reversed. I closed that chapter and I began to pray. Even when I was praying, I never knew I met her. I never knew that she was the person that I would marry. Even when I met her, I was praying for the will of God for her in marriage. Do you understand? <laughs> I was praying, helping her to pray, God, bring that man that she will marry. Do you understand? And where I had my focus then, uh, you know, God just told you, say, this woman you are praying for, she is a woman. So, it's God just direct and use situations and something to guide you when you pray. That is just what I'm going to say. Question four. Question four. This is my question. No, it's two of them. I just asked one. When one of us was the other time, she said, she made mention that we have to be mature. And when that was, uh, was also trying uh, to cancel us the other time, she, he said something. He said, age is not a maturity. Now, what are the measurements to measure maturity? It, because one of us are okay, so, so maybe it's money. Is it money? Is it 
mentally able or financially able. Praise the Lord. Because of our time eh, and other programs. Eh, physically, you need to mature. You don't have to be married on the age. You understand? Physically, uh, the macho. Mentally, your reasoning. Are you the one, the man that is tied to your mother or your father's apron? Eh? They cannot do. They get the one by daddy. They say that you cannot reason. You cannot stand there alone and take decision. How do you take decision? What do you bring to the table before you arrive at a logical decision? So that is a test of maturity. Because that man, I mean that woman will be looking at you as the head of the family to take decision for the family. Uh, my wife, my grandma, my grandpa. But what is God saying concerning your home? Anybody that is so much tied to their parents, to their mothers, to their father, I know that the role of a father and mother is very, very important. Because they give cancer. But at the same time, you don't live your life and peace of their cancer without you sipping it with the word of God and what God has told you before concerning your life and ministry or your purpose in life. So everything has to align with your purpose in life. So the concept, for example, I saw a video uh, yesterday. And that man was just cancelling people said, like that teacher, I will come with and go at our program, make our marriage to be what it is today. Because part of the song, the minister will be calling God to say, It is good. But 
in the other way around, if the woman is older than the man, that is the one I said, if you feel you are led and you are older, you are convinced, you can go, but I must if the age limit is high, please, I will encourage you. We got to go into that. The educator to the tier of the and we back into a corner to back up to back you or to come or to make it to back in the cement and many pounds. And because when that woman will get to one of us, and to the little mama, maybe you just start your home as a man. And when the woman gets to one of us, and Everything reproduction in our system will start going down. And even sex in marriage will not be conducive for her again. And the marriage will continue to have problem. So it's not advisable. Except you are convinced. Except you are convinced. And we have people who marry those who are older than them as uh they are older than the husband and they enjoy the home. Number six. Number six. Okay, no, let's, let's. <laughs> then I will ask a question. Praise the Lord. So I have a three question here. Yeah? Uh, I will just say. Praise the Lord. My question is this. Bravo. The Lord, Trust, observation. What does it mean in relationship? Second question. The word sacrifice. Trust and observation. What does it mean in relationship? Also, the second question. Is there any difference between relationship, dating, and courtship? And the last one. How can we? Okay. How can we contrast and compare on online dating and non-relationship? Online dating and long distance relationship. How we can go? Praise the Lord. Prof, you know, online not dating. Maybe I sound from the one. Today, you know, come on, Jinkara, do you know? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. There are many auto show dating. Yes, yeah. sir. Eh? Auto show occurring at auto show period. Eh? Online. For Christians, I do encourage you. Uh, most of all, there's nothing God cannot do. Just pray. And then, as you are watching, as you are praying, also be watching. Especially when you are searching, when you are seeking the face of God or marriage. What, why do you have to watch? Eh? The reason why you need to watch is that you will know whether that prayer is answering. You know how God is treating you. You know whether it is right or wrong with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. But the most important thing is that the online dating may and not recommending it for Christians. That is about that concerning the online dating. Then trust what sacrifice trust observation and trust what does it mean in marriage marriage to that sacrifice cannot hold and because two of you you are from different background different mother different school different area do you understand the i have there is no is deep and you have to sacrifice and love is sacrificial so there are certain things you love that you need to give away for the sake of your spouse. So that is the sacrifice. Trust. Without trust, marriage cannot move on smoothly. Because you need to trust. Because if you don't trust, any, any message eh, on your spouse spoke. Eh? I got to pray. I got to pray. Who is this sister? Eh? All the messages will be 
then you become a policeman or, or DSS. Eh? And all this. Because you don't trust each other. So a woman should be able to trust her spouse. So also a man should be able to trust a woman in marriage. And if trust is out of it, that marriage is heading towards destruction. Because it, it cannot be peace in that marriage. So, I mean, what is the observation? Observation is the same thing as observation anywhere. You observe, you observe, you study. And you need to study yourself, know yourself, know the love language that individual has for each other. To some people, a man who always gives his wife money, buy good things to the house, and food. Go to the buy tomorrow. And no attention. Go to attention. <laughs> go, in, go to but he has no attention. To the man, satisfying her everything, money and everything is a love language. Tell me her, I love you. That's why I'm giving things to you. But the woman will say, all oh, what you are giving to me, you are bribing me. Eh? You are bribing me. I need your time. I need you. I need your attention. I need you to communicate with me. So when you observe each other, you begin to know the love language of each person and you're able to say the same language. So, if a woman needs attention, every woman needs attention. You will be able to give her attention. Every woman also needs money and material things. And that's why, praise the Lord. So, that's why, as a man, you need to work to provide for your family. And also, that is a part of the majority, but that's a majority is also there. Don't just go into marriage because uh, your body is doing this piece. Because, praise the Lord, because if you marry, after your body do this piece, your pockets are going to also do this piece. Because after nine months, you can be four, I mean, or even five. The woman we have made out to it. One or even triplets. Ah. And if your pocket cannot do with it, at that time you will know that the woman that is coming that need today, then they will call you your name tomorrow. Today. And we will only kill your chair. So that is why. And also I want to encourage our sister, our sisters, know that when you are hard working, eh? And you are industrious. Do you understand? No man can put you aside. When you have something doing, have something doing, don't be lazy. I get a contact that he and one for them pay the ability. That's why it's a big leg at the ability. On our part, on our part, on our government. And it's a very your responsibility. I want one more time. Let's turn it in the back of the lower end. That's a bit more to your lady. That's a big one. And it's sponsor my son and our son to any day. Just be my husband. Go to my husband. To be careful, be trustful. And that's a way. Then be careful at this point where you are at this point where you are the point where you are at this 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 you are just secondary school, you are maybe you are 200, 400, then you are just a graduate. Go to be the 250,000, 500,000. Eh? But when they are high school, the form, 
please, that is not life. If you are lucky to have, know that that person is checking. I'm not saying those men who do that are evil, but no, that should not be your priority. But your life, if I don't see this man beside me again, can I live my life without him? If we are decided to have three children, eh, can, will I be able to sponsor these children, three children, even if this man is not alive again? So think very well, you don't make yourself a liability to any man. Oh, don't know about this, I don't know about this, I don't know about this. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not going to show you to do it. Hello. I'm not going to show you to do it. Eh? Oh, love me, 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 Yes. Thank you, sir. In addition to that uh, issue of uh, observation, I think when the issue of observation where it's very, very essential in this, when you observe your spouse, it will give you the grace to adjust because both of you came from different backgrounds. So the issue of observation is very, very essential. So you will know when to uh, act, you will know when to do this, you will know when to react, you will know what to do this or that. So it will give you a chance to do what? To adjust the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And women are very sensitive in that area more than men. Women are very observant than men, especially most of them. So they don't observe many things. Observe his spiritual life. Observe his language. Observe his eating habit. Observe many other things. Thank you, sir. My only question, sir. No, it's very question, sir. There is one question I told you. The Lord of which program last month. There is one question from one youth. Is there any difference between love and like? Because youth of nowadays are lost. Because the youth of nowadays, they don't know the difference between love, like, and lost. I can say like and lost. I can put them nearly beside each other. Like. But when it's is love, it has to involve element of sacrifice. Not when it is love, it has to be sacrificial. And it has not to attach some things, physical structures, because of this. Some people, because the way you are, they like it. Physically, you are, oh, baby, what do I do? Hey, baby, no. Oh, sexy. Praise the Lord. Oh, my sexy. Oh, my kid, my head. Can be like. But when it's not involving sacrifice, then that I can go to length with this. Because even when it's good or bad, eh? that is true of my capital. The loss is attached to something that I want to gain. And eh? I was struggled. That is the reason why. Uh, not because of his money. Not uh -huh. Because of her money or property. Yes, lost. Most of all, physical is a physical attraction for sexual relationship. Most often, uh, those people who see you today and you just walk by and they run after, hey, I'm a total praise the Lord, is lost. You are attracted to them at that time and they want to exploit you. Then, it is true now that we will now begin to test whether that Love, the progress is lost 
Oh no. The Almighty, the other side. If it's not, he can approach to you, he approach you today and sleep with you today. Eh? We are some of the social media will say it's not bad now. Are you sure? Eh? Even some will tell you, we may, you know, you need to do this thing very well. Before you get married. That is their own standard. But I don't think that is not the standard of God for Christians. So that is the difference between loss, love, and life. Yes. Love involves sacrifice. Relationship. Somebody you can 
have been free with. Somebody who can share your mind with. Somebody who can go out together. You can go out together without being ashamed. When you marry somebody who is small enough to be your father. Ah, Anna Baradia. Anna Baradia. So let us be realistic. Come on, at the water or at the problem. So if you know somebody, you will not be free with. That you will not be able to share your mind. You will not be able to play with. It's better you do away with that relationship. I pray the Lord will help us with Jesus. Because at times you have to be realistic. Because no, I'm bad. I said God wants you to go with it. I pray the Lord will help us with Jesus. Uh -huh. So be careful. Watch and pray. Then the other one. The other one. The issue of the, the your question. Hey, when to start praying? Uh -huh. When to start praying? Uh -huh. Well, I want to make an illustration. The other time when my sisters was coming out to ask the question, and this brother was asking the question, I'm not going to be paying. Kill our mama in the first Kill our mama in the first Shall we tell you that one? Computer age, flower. Computer age. Come share with them. They can start be praying for their. If they be come out with any, I don't know whether you get my point. You can start praying concerning your my your future partner. The kind of a person you want, Lord. I want a man that has the fear of God. I want a man that do, you know, I want to go to the and say that a man after God's hands, you can start praying now. You can start praying now. Next question. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So, shall I remember this imagination one part? I'm going to pray for you. So, and if you Okay, okay, you go. Okay, for the marriage, how the how, how can they take steps? And it's here, and it's here. Praise the Lord. Who is in wrong relationship? You know. You know, the topic, uh, our theme for this conference is renewing your mind. If you know with all this counseling that you are in a wrong relationship, a broken relationship is better than broken marriage. So, my brothers and my sister, you can adjust, to, you can call that sister and you can call that brother. Please let us have a place. And from there, you can tell the sister, you can tell the brother that this. I don't think this relationship will work. If you know you are in a wrong relationship now, it is better. The Bible says in the multitude of cancer, there is safety. So, broken relationship, what about our, the broken marriage? The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. About the last of my life. I just want to ask for the issue of marriage and the man to get me papa. I don't want to go to the group who are living in the world. But don't marry among young girls. To marry at you are 28. You are married back at 65. Or 70. Oh, you are not a problem. You are not somebody. Oh, God, for me, baby, baby. Ah. You are going to go for the loose one. Maybe I will hold you. Let us let us be clear. Oh, go at it. Come on, boy. Where the end? Where the bad one? Where the bad one? Where the bad one? Where the bad one? Go do first one. Let me go. So that is just my conclusion. Go for your two guys. Then apart from that. 
they can marry somebody that the age is different. Who walk now? Fifteen years, twenty years. They buy how much? They can buy material. They should sell more. Praise the Lord. Battery at it now. Show you me. Ten thousand more today. Eh? What you are going to do now? They did not start. So therefore, and uh, you have to take up the attitude. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I want us to pray. Let us pray. If there's, if there's any other question you can say us or say any of the priests at our Baba for such heartfelt discussion or cancer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Father, we thank you, we appreciate you for how God you led us in this counseling session. Thank you, Father, for your daughters. Thank you for your, for your sons that you have gathered here to be taught of you. Father, with what you have given to them this afternoon, I pray that you will let it have impact in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace to make correction, we are the leader to make correction, give to each and every one of them. Father, I pray that you will help them, O oh God, to make you the beginning and the end of every decision they take in life in the name of Jesus. I pray for your guidance that you will guide them in the right way to choose and those who are chosen wrongly. Father, help us correct their relationship now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this program. Thank you for our fathers and mothers who will still use in this program. Use them to bless us. Thank you for asking that prayers. In 